I'm Warren. I'm uh, one of the ministers at Greenford Baptist Church. Welcome to the second video under um, the banner Sword Stance. Sword uh, being the Word of God. Uh, sword or the Word of God can be used for both attack against our enemies, which is not flesh and blood, but against dark rulers and spiritual realm. And it can also be used as defence. Defence, again, against the spiritual forces, but also, uh, I believe, defence for our mind. Um, a sword, uh, you know, you parry uh, and attack away. And if we use the word of God, um, we can uh, use that to protect our minds as we read the truth that is in here when normally enemy is trying to tell us lies, both uh, sort of through uh, uh, just uh, in our prayer time, um, or in our time of just wandering thoughts, or even through, unfortunately, through people as well, who might be well-meaning at times, other times aren't well-meaning, but either way, it's not that person, it's, it's the force that's behind them. So again, our fight is not against flesh and blood, as it says in Ephesians 6. So, sword stance, that's the whole point of sword stance. Where are you standing today with your sword? It's with that, that bizarrely enough, in this second series, this one's entitled Encouragement. I'm going to dive into the Bible just a little bit, pot around a little bit, and just make a few comments as we go along. So Hebrews uh, chapter 10, verse 25 says, Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage another one, uh, one another daily. And all the more as you see the day approaching. Now, bizarre that the first verse I pick up is that let's not give up meeting together, especially given during this current climate. And you could be watching this at any moment with any rules we currently have. And currently at the moment at Greenford Baptist Church, we're not meeting together on a Sunday morning. But this passage wasn't about meeting just on a Sunday morning. Uh, they met daily. They would encourage each other daily. So we don't have to meet together to encourage one another. We have two odd thousand years on since Hebrew was written. We have this thing called modern technology. We have these things called phones that are really helpful for communicating remotely. I know it's not always the same as physically meeting, but at least we have that option. Let me go to another one, Hebrews uh, 3.13, just very briefly. That also says, but encourage one another daily as long as it's called today. So let none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. We're to carry on encouraging each other uh, daily. By the way, the definition, according to somewhere on one of the many internet searches on the dictionary is, what is to encourage? It is to strengthen and stimulate. When you encourage someone, you either strengthen them and, and you also stimulate them. Uh, sometimes a word of encouragement can really stimulate you to keep going through the day. It doesn't just strengthen you, it, it inspires you. It makes you want to go, yeah, actually, no, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Romans 12, 8 makes it very clear to us that actually encouragement is a gift of the Holy Spirit. There are some of us who are exceptionally gifted with the gift of encouragement. No matter what is going on, you, you know those sort of people that you approach them, you see them, and they've already got a word of encouragement for you. Uh, it just, even a smile sometimes oozes off of them through the Holy Spirit, and that is just enough to get you going. Uh, you can have people encouragement. You don't need to be down in the dumps to be encouraged. Um, you can be quite high, but just somebody say to you, you know, you can be high in spirits, high and happy, but somebody still can give you encouragement. Equally, you can give encouragement. As it says, encourage each other daily, so it doesn't work both ways. In part of this argument, I, I remember talking, uh, I had a conversation with someone about this, and they said, but what if I'm feeling really low, and I really do not feel like encouraging uh, anyone? 
And I agreed with them. I've, I've been there and no doubt will always be there at various points. But what I have discovered over time that actually if I find a way of looking for a way to encourage someone else, bizarrely enough, I'm encouraged. Um, and when I'm talking about here encouragement, I'm not talking about just being nice. There's nothing wrong in being nice, but nice can give us uh, false platitudes, as I put it. We can be nice to someone and they go, thanks, but it has no real spiritual impact. Um, encouraging someone is actually listening to God first and going, Lord, what is it you want me to say maybe to this person? Who do you want me to encourage and with what? Now, it could be just simply a smile. Lord says, just smile at them. And the Lord will do the rest. But what I'm getting at is that even when you're feeling low, by sort of thinking, I might want to encourage someone today, it means you have to dig into the Lord to do that. And it helps you focus on the Lord, which then in turn helps you. It's really bizarre. It's not you go and encourage someone to help yourself. It's just a good antidote should you be feeling low. Now, clearly, if you're going through a really hard time, I am not sitting here saying, well, you should just snap out of it and think about others. Absolutely not. But I'm just, you know, trying to find that fine balance for all of us in this. And as I said, it's in the Bible, it's in the sword. And it clearly, therefore, then is a, a command, an, an instruction from the Lord. Encourage each other daily. I like being encouraged. But you do as well. I want to go to uh, Titus uh, chapter 2, uh, verses, uh, uh, chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 15. So bear with me just a second. This is Paul obviously uh, talking uh, to uh, Titus, and he simply says uh, the whole of the about teaching people, he said, then these then are the things you should teach, encourage and rebuke with all authority. Do not let anyone despise you. Now in the NIV, uh, it reads slightly different in different translations, but I looked at this, encourage and rebuke with all authority. In other translations, they seem to separate the encourage and rebuke, but I notice in the one sentence, it's with all authority. So just forgetting the rebuke for a minute, because I'm not talking about that today. We're talking about encouraging. We're to encourage with godly authority. If in Hebrews it's saying encourage each other daily, and that is an instruction from the Lord. And here again, it says encourage with all authority. There is a spiritual authority that we as believers of Jesus Christ have that means we have the authority to encourage fellow believers. We have the authority. It is a driven authority from God to encourage. And as we are all royal priests in the kingdom of heaven, we have that God-given spiritual authority to encourage. So, so you understand what I mean? When you encourage someone and it's something you've heard from the Lord from someone, it comes with the backing of heaven and the heavenly realms into encouraging that person. So as you say it, as you mean it, as you throw it out towards them, there is a God-given authority that imparts that deep within their spirit, deep within their mind. I, I got really excited when you think about that, that you will impart with authority of the kingdom of heaven this encouragement. We tend to think about praying with the authority of heaven and rebuking the spirits and healing with authority. And absolutely, all those things are correct. But there's also an authority behind encouraging. If it's a special gift of the Holy Spirit or a gift of the Holy Spirit that is imparted to uh, uh, some people of God to exceptionally in them, we've all got it. If we're to all encourage each other daily. We all have the gift of encouragement. But it's like any other spiritual gift. It's portioned out as the Holy Spirit seems. So some people have an exceptional uh, a dose 
a blessing of the spiritual gift of encouragement but they do it and we all can do it with the authority of heaven so you ever thought about that behind that is an authority and then equally and equally if somebody gives you encouragement you should receive it with the authority that it is given how good are we christians when somebody encourages us and says something really uh, uh, uplifting and encouraging that they think is from the Lord and we just go oh thank you very much no 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 but it's the Lord ministers are terrible anybody that's ever taught ministers or not ministers taught at the front are ghastly ghastly I'll say this that when somebody comes and gives them encouragement say, oh that's a nice sermon or that was really good and we go oh thank you or that sermon really spoke to me da 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 and they explain how it spoke to them and the, the teacher is terrible then going oh well thank you very much but it's obviously all from the Lord now statement is true it was from the lord but the point being that the teacher should receive that with the authority to which it has been given they should take it on board as an encouragement and that and i'm just giving that example because clearly that's what i do as a as, as a minister i teach but that goes with 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 every all one of us many times i have i know i have tried to i've encouraged someone and it's it's I think it's a concept of false humility, bizarrely enough. We, we, we think um, we need to be really humble. Yes, we do. But you still receive the encouragement to which and allow that encouragement to deeply penetrate your spirit into the place of humility. Not into a place of pride, but into a place of I will receive that, be stimulated by that, be strengthened by that because it's been given with the authority of heaven. And that will inform the rest of my day partly. That will make me see whatever I'm going through through God's eyes. So encouragement is so much more than just simply being nice. Encouragement is so much more than just making you feel good for a moment. It has the authority of heaven in it that should, should imbibe and should take on board and we should soak it up and we should always be godly people looking, looking. Lord, who do you want me to encourage today from your word or from your spirit you know both are the same but who do you want me to encourage today so let me end this by saying be an encourager be encouraged with all the authority of the kingdom of god god bless to you